We shoveled the, the gravel over it though, so. That's good times. That's yeah, a good mural we did. Yeah, it's fun. The, the juice yeah, SpongeBob, the SpongeBob, SquarePants. Big pineapple. Uh, meant for results. Yes, and we've pers persevered against the uh, elements and odds and time wise. Hurricane level winds. Yes. 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 Our fingers freezing yes. off. Yes. That's what we remember us standing there. Just like, I remember. <laughs> see that bag flapping in the bed. <laughs> Well, we got it. Yeah. It looks great. Everything else is Yeah. As far as that. Yeah, so, I got that. Do you enjoy doing work like that? I do. Um, I've always worked large scale. Ever since I was little, I always wanted to go bigger and bigger and bigger. And in elementary school, arts, art school, I couldn't go so big. But then once I got to high school, I went to Field Art in London. Yep. Um, I started doing giant canvases, and then I went to Oakland University and switched to sculpture and installation, which is even bigger. Yes. Yeah. So. Your work, what are you from? Do you do like acrylics, or what you, what's your kind of medium? Uh, I would say I predominantly stick to acrylics. I've never really been an oil gal. Too much work. Yeah, I like I like the fact that acrylics you can just wait ten minutes and paint over your mistake and move on. Um, instant instant relief. I feel like I'd be too stressed if I used oil paints. Okay. It's a process. It's yeah. just more like mix it and like yeah. uh, linseed oil and yes. shit. Mineral oil. Min is it mineral? I don't even know. I'm an artist. I'm I'm like, I don't even it. know. But you know what, I think when you find the medium you like it, you push it to its limits, and I think you're a person who's pushed your art to the limits. It's very much liberal. <laughs> yes. So, uh, you know, your, your size, you seem to like working with large. Yeah, yeah. Some of the more large scale stuff you've done in your you know, recent career, I think that sucks. Yeah, I started, well, I moved to Toronto. Um, I went to school as a mature student. So when I was 24, first year uh, university, first, first year university, I was asked to build a um, centerpiece for Louis Blanc. Um, it was a 30 foot sculpture in Dundas Square, and I'd never built anything bigger than a foot. Ooh, but I was like, and they're like, oh, and you have a month to do it. I was like, okay, yeah, I can do that, no budget, problem. Budget. A budget, obviously. Go, they put me in a warehouse in Scarborough by myself for like this big 40,000 square foot warehouse with like a few power tools and then just stacks of high density foam. They were like 20 foot long sheets. And I just remember like, cause I would like cut the foam on like the table saw or dance. I just remember that being like, for days, like I was washing chunks of foam out of my hair afterwards. So, but yeah, I did it. I managed to make the deadline. Um, I didn't sleep for 40 hours, I think, the day before the day of the install. I hadn't slept for 48 hours and we got it we got it to Dundas Square which was its this whole other manner. Um, Transport. Wide <laughs> wide bed truck uh, going underneath um, highway bridges. Yep. And we wow. didn't account for that with yes. it being strapped to the top. So every time we went under a bridge, fall just <laughs> spray down on us. Yeah. So then, like, I get to Dundas Square, no sleep, and I have to like run to Canadian Tire down the street on Dundas and get patch and paint to patch the sculpture up. And then I just collapsed. I like went home and collapsed and went and saw it. And then I didn't have the heart to go and take it down the next day. I just like was like, I can't do it. Can't disassemble it. They threw it into a dumpster. I couldn't even watch it, it wasn't there. But that was my first that was my first like large scale piece. One of the few artists who went to school and does what they went to school for. <laughs> oh, you're being artists. Nice. Those, go, those to school, go to art school. Go to art school, kids. Yeah. You won't be poor. <laughs> yeah. You won't be poor. I'm excited. Uh, I haven't been. I haven't done. I've been doing the public art thing for so long that I haven't actually done 
a show I in the years. There, like a canvas, like made yeah. a canvas, sit in my yeah. studio. Um, you have a studio, nice studio now. I do. I just, I uh, yeah, it's it's in my apartment. It's a home studio, but it's it's a studio. Yep. So when I left London, I've been off grid for a little bit. Just, but I finally got my studio set back up. So I'm excited to sit down and do some canvas work. I think I have 20 days now, maybe 22, something yep. like that. 22 21. to 21 days. 21 days. 21 days. We're all we all have dicks or vaginas. True story, my Christmas dinner ended because of the word vagina. How could that end the dinner? It ended because How of the word vagina. Because my name, Tova, everybody always messes it up, right? So I always, I, I was saying T-O-V like Victor A for years. And I was like, why am I masculating my name once I came to like the age of enlightenment? And I understood that um, women really are, you know, sort of like, you know, like treated as a subpar I don't even know what word I'm looking for right now, but um, so I changed it to be T.O.V. like vagina, A. Eh? Yeah. And my mother, the devout Christian that she is, um, thinks it is absolutely horrendous and horrible and embarrassing. And there was this huge uprising at Christmas, and I stormed out with my wine. I grabbed my wine before I left. I was like, you guys aren't drinking this. I'm going to have my wine. And I went to my friends, and we laughed about the word vagina for a few hours. So dicks and vaginas, there's a common theme here. Yes. It's really it's coming up in your life. Like, <laughs> you, can, you can you can inflict just an uneasy feeling on someone by a word. Just, just by a word. word. Just by the word vagina. The anatomically correct yes. word for well, our organs. Yes. Are the organs are not Most organs. They can scratch that and that out. <laughs> we can edit it. Is this open? Wow. Is this is this yeah. a one shot or go? I don't think it's a one <laughs> yeah, this is our fern. Little oh, monsty, nice. little monsty over here. Now, are they all have the holes in them? I don't know. That's a Claire question. I think what, Claire, holes. what are the holes in the monstera leaf called again? Fenestration. 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 It sounds like menstruation. It does. Yeah. And yeah. 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 Yeah.
conversations like that. Yeah. I was I was in Toronto around the time that they were the weeds were sort of popping up and they started building the walls. I heard the about police that. the police yeah. started building the walls and in front of the entrances. Yeah. Like, yeah. And then they started like setting up booths on the street to sell the weed on the other side of the wall. Yeah. yeah, it's gonna be a good time. I'm really excited. Thank you for letting me join the roster. And I like how you put my name in all caps. Yeah, well, it is. I like, yeah. well, appreciate you taking time. Yeah. Your busy window dressing. I, I know. So I yeah, she's doing, a, she's doing a pop call tonight. We're gonna have some county folks out to party. And uh, there's gonna be a band here tonight, so I gotta finish it in the next three hours. What time is it? Three, roughly? Three? So I've got three hours. Yeah. I can do it. I think I can do it. Yeah. Thanks for everything. Cheers. Stranger. <laughs>